Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I sound overly excited, don't I? It's because I actually got a break from working anyway. <clears throat> I want to show you this alien assault rifle. Now, this is an old mod, and I know it's an old mod, okay? But it just sounded inter interesting to me. It came up on the, uh, what, the recommended, what do they call that up there? Featured. It came up on the featured thing, and I just thought, well, we should check it out. I haven't looked at this particular mod before. Now, the trick to this mod, well, let's just, let's just note the small things about it. It's, it's under three megabytes. It's not a very big mod. Uh, the author, now let's see, is this the author or did they board it? Let's take a look here. It looks like they really are the author, as near as I can tell. This is Hensk Pam Madres. Hensk, oh well, I can't pronounce all that. I'm sorry. Hence, Camadres. Now, I'm not trying to be insulting. I really, I just, I don't know how to say that. So, that's really no offense intended at all. If you saw my name and you didn't know how to say it, no problem. All right. So, anyway, this sounds like an interesting weapon. I would like to find it because, you see, it, it, it kind of suits Fallout, doesn't it? It looks like a good Fallout weapon. So, I want to find it and then see how we can, it has these mods available that I would like to play around with. So I thought we would go find it. Now, you have to go to the alien crash site east of Oberland Station, okay? That's east of Oberland Station. Where do they have that? They have that in the description, because I didn't know until I read it. Well, okay. I thought they had it in this description. I thought that's how I knew that. The alien crash site. Well, anyway, the alien crash crash site, regardless if they have it in the description or not, maybe I knew that some other way. The alien crash site is east of Oberland Station. I'm going to show you how to get there from Oberland Station, okay? And I'll show you where that is in the map. So I will see you in the game in a moment. So here we are in Oberland Station. You can see the people coming out of the building up above. I just set the time for 8 a.m. so we could uh, do this quickly. I've got Jenny in the pilot outfit. I decided I kind of like that and decided to come back to that. Let me show you on the map where we are. I told you I would do that and I'll try to do that. Let's zoom out for a minute. Here's Overland Station. Now you'll notice um, Diamond City's down here if you need some sort of landmark. Uh, the Beantown Brewery is there. The Vault 111 is up here. Um, their Sanctuary and some other stuff, the cheat room, those are mod things. So so what you're really looking for is Oberland Station down here. And I'm going to zoom back in now. Whoa, I zoomed in probably more than I wanted. But nonetheless, we're looking for Oberland Station, which is what we want. Let me back that out a little bit. And then we're going to go east, okay? Not very far east. Let me just show you east. Find east. There. This is east. And it's not going to be due or directly east because we're actually going to go over this way. The crash site is up here. Now, technically, if you've not found this before, you would not know that you don't just need to find the crash site. You need to find somewhere where the alien is. Okay? Because finding the crash site is good. This is good. We found it. This is the um, crashed UFO. Right? Now, you'll notice another difference in my game, mainly all the green foliage. I'm, I'm testing something else out. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, you don't see anything. Just pretend it's not. We'll do another show on that. Nonetheless, um, <clears throat> so that's the crash site, right? Let me show you again. The crash site is here. And matter of fact, let me show you on the map. Because it is east of Overland Station, but it's not a perfect due east. If you'll notice, if anything, it looks like we drift just a little southeast, right? Okay, I just wanted you to see that. Now, the alien from the crash site is actually down over here in a cave. Do you see that? Whoops, I could see it. Can you see my screen? Hold on, this is not the best view, is it? Why am I getting a hazy day? Did I not order? I don't think I ordered clear weather. Nonetheless, I should have ordered clear weather. I'm sorry. But if you look over here, the cave is here, down from the crash site. Not far. Now, let me show you. Now, the cave is east of Overland Station, or more east than the crash site, but it's a little away from the crash site. So, supposedly, the alien has drug himself down here. Jenny's ready to go in 
and kill him and take his goodies. If you'll notice here, I think this is supposed to be green alien blood. See that on the rocks? Okay, so we're going to go in the cave. Now I'm going to switch to first person because we're going to be in a tight spot. Going to be in a tight spot? This is a quick load. It shouldn't be any problem. Here we go. Now, you have to be careful. Sometimes they'll face you right at this rock, and you won't know which way to turn, and you you might go back out the door by accident, which is what I did. It was so annoying. There's his green alien blood. Now, he should be back there near that box. Well, I call it a he. It could be... Oh. Could be a she. Actually, we'll never know now. I had to shoot it dead. I didn't expect it to attack me, but it did. All right, so anyway, we're coming in here. Now this is the same way you get the alien blaster. This is the assault rifle, and this is the assault. Oh, it's he's got we got two assault rifles. That's cool. What does he have on him? He has the blaster pistol, which is cool. We'll take that. He also has the sighted alien assault rifle. Yes. Very cool, right? Very nice. This is what we're after. Going to take that, and I'll take his his uh, rounds. We'll take some bottle caps, and we'll leave the rest of that. Now, he was not listening to the radio. I guess he was visiting with this dead guy. Do we want to take that one? Let's take it. Bingo. Look at that. Now we have two of these, and we can take and mess with them. Now, let's just use the default one for a moment. Bear with me for just a minute. Oh, my goodness. I'm all over the place. Um, apparel, no weapons. Yes. Okay, so let's look. We got two of those, right? Yes, we got two, so let's just try one of these as it is, right? We've got uh, plenty of rounds. Oh, did I pop his head? Oh, that's gross. Oh, wow, okay, that was gross, but yeah. All right, so anyway, oh, there's the reload animation, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's head out. Dun, dun, dun. This should be a quick load again. We'll head out, and, uh, wow, I should have gotten clear weather. Anyway, well, I'll tell you what let's do. I'll order us up some clear weather, and we'll play around with this. Maybe I'll summon up some bad guys for us to fight out here, okay? All right, so give me a minute, and I'll be right back. Working. All right, so I uh, got us some clear weather, and I just phoned in some NPCs. It's not going to be too many. But we're going to hop out of this. I'm using the cheat room to do this, of course. There. Oh, right. Popped their head off. Oh, I think one of them killed one of the others for me. That's okay. That was just to give you a quick idea. So it's not like a machine gun at all. At this point, this is just the standard. And you get one shot. It's semi-automatic, right? One shot per trigger pull. So... Want to make sure you know that. That's what you're going to get right off the bat. Now let's go take this and mod it. We'll go mod it uh, in the cheat room, and I'll show you that. We'll see what kind of mods are available. Okay? Be back in a minute. Hi, sir. All right, so here we are at the workbench. You can't create this rifle at the chem station, not to my knowledge. I checked, and I didn't see it. Now you have some different capacitors here. We're just going to go through some options. Now we're going to go with some high options. We're going to give us some good options. Long beam barrel. This looks fun. Let's try this out. Standard stock. No, let's get us a marksman stock. That's right. Alien power cell. Hmm. Fusion cell. What's the difference? Reduce damage, changes ammo time. This does more damage. What does this do? Epic ammo capacity. Hmm. Okay. Epic. I like epic ammo capacity. Slightly less damage. I, I can live with that. Wow, that was a big change. Did you see that? Now, you can do Nuka-Cola Quantum Conversion. Now, that to do that, it becomes more like a fusion core. So, if you want to do that, as a matter of fact, let me hop out. Maybe we should do that. There's no point in not showing you the best thing, right? So, I think we're supposed to be able to do that at either the cooking or the other station. Let's just check. Here we go. Weaponized Nuka-Cola Quantum. I don't have any Nuka-Cola. Mm -mm -mm. I don't have any Nuka-Cola Quantums. All right, you'll have to pardon me again. I will be right back, and we will pick up from here, okay? Captain's Log Supplement. 
All right, so I got some Nuka-Cola Quantum, and you can make this in the chem station as well. Weaponized Nuka-Cola Quantum. Now I'm going to make a few, and then I'm going to go reproduce some of this. I'll show you right here in a minute what I mean. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so let's go over here, and we will try this out right here. All I'm going to do is make some copies of this here. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Up your shaft. All right, sorry for that interruption. So I was going to make some copies here. I want to show you something, though. This weaponized Nuka-Cola Quantum is different than what's in the game. It does not say ammo at the end. So that may make a difference to us. Still, I made a bunch of it. So there we go. So me and Jenny should be set. Let's see if we have enough of that ammo to do the job. So remember that, that it is different. That you have to have, you know, uh, you have to have that special. Oh no, I've lost my alien assault rifle. Where is my alien assault rifle? Oh, there it is, converted. Okay, so let's go back into here. So let's go into fusion core conversion. And I still can't do this. Why? What am I missing? Oh, I didn't save a Nuka Cola Quantum one. Okay, this is. This is where, okay. Anyway, I'll be back. Fascinating. All right, so now we are ready. We're looking at our converted dude. Now look at that. It's got the fusion core on it, but we're going to change that up, okay? So we're going to change that up. So from the fusion core, you know, now it was using the alien power cell, and then we changed it to, to go the... Oh, I need more power cell now. We changed it to use the fusion core. There's fusion cell. I'm not sure how that different that looks. Let's see what that looks like. It'll let us look at it. Okay, so it looks like that. That's okay. Now, um, but we're going to do Nuka-Cola quantum conversion. And there, now we're talking. Look at that. <laughs> we have our soda and our gun all together. Okay, so anyway, that gives us a little more damage, 140. That's probably as good as it's going to get. Now, let's see, what does it say about changes the ammo type to weaponized Nuka-Cola Quantum? But other than that, I guess that's about it. So, and it has a good fire rate. Okay. All right, so sight ring, you can do standard sights or sight ring, which I like the sight ring. What does this do? Oh, this gives you that. Well, you could do that. That's kind of in the... Those are still in the realm of... Let's see what suits this. Do I really want it to have a long recon scope, though? Tracks target superior man of man Oh, let's just try it. We're going for the gusto, right? Muzzle, do we want a muzzle? Oh, we could put a compensator or a focuser. Better recoil control. This gives you improved accuracy, worse recoil. I don't like a lot of I'm, I have enough problems myself. Let's just try the compensator. I think that looks cool. Okay. So, all right. Um, all right. I think that's... What else we got? Glo oh, we can choose the glow. How nice. So you could do black or blue or green or purple or red. Oh, my goodness. Let's go purple. We have to go purple. Uh, metal? Oh, we can do... Oh, nice. Look at that. You can do some different appearance. That's the default. You can do green, pink, red, white, yellow. Hmm, interesting. Oh, look at that. That has an interesting look to it. This is worn. And this is not worn, I suppose. Pink? If you really want to go pink and purple, I mean, this is now your gun, isn't it? I mean... Why not? Um, but let's see. Uh, I like green pretty good. Dark gray is cool. I like blue. That doesn't fit what I've done here with it. Black is nice. So the default is this. This is the default, kind of a nice silver. I'm going to change it up. Let's go with the darker. It's a black. The dark gray is not quite as dark as the black. But the black is not truly, you know, hmm, super black. Um, plastic. What? Oh, the plastic parts. 
Oh, I see. So you could change the plastic parts to be different colors. How nice. Mix that up. Go with lime. You could go with purple. That might kind of suit our motif. Yeah. Okay. Let's just try purple. I don't think the others look quite as good with my purple drink. Of course, you could do pink. Of course, you could. Of course. Why not? Right? But nonetheless, um, remember the default is this, but you get some choices. These are nice. These are nice little mods. You get to change it up. All right. All right, Jenny. Pop that gun out. Oh, we're going to have to go first person to really appreciate it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's pretty cool. That is. That's very nice. Oh, and look at the little thing turns in the barrel. The little coils or whatever you want to think of it as. If you want to think of it as energy or whatever. That's that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's... um. Here, let me do something. Oh, oh, oh. Um... There we go. So this is what we ended up with. Now it's funny that this picture empties out the quantum, the Nuka Cola quantum bottle, but eh, ignore that. It was fine before, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, like right now. Let's go. Yeah. See, it's fine. So, look at. Oh, did you hear that? You know what this means. We have to go bother people. Yes, we do. Either that, or I have to summon people in. Nonetheless, we've got to go try this out. I think this will be a fun version just to test for a couple of minutes, so hang out with me. Um, you know, if not, though, just remember, this is, I think this is a good fun mod. It really suits the, uh, the, uh, Fallout motif. So, you know, just tell you that now up front, and I will see you in a minute. Illogical. All right, so we are almost ready to get this party started. Now, again, ignore some of all this greenery. This is part of another mod that I'm testing we're going to play around with later. Um, I'm going to do a save. No, we just do a quick save here. We'll be all right. Okay, so did a quick save, and it's time to torture the people in Diamond City. Look at this. I like this. Look at that. Just, oh. I thought you were there. Wow, there's people all around. Nobody likes me now. Hey, don't be hiding in that doorway. I saw you. Who else is here? It, now, the funny thing is, this kind of shudders and shakes. So it's kind of funny in that way. I don't know if you can tell it by the video, but it does. It kind of shudders and shakes. And so it's harder for me to focus and see sometimes. Let's see what we get when we do this. Let's... Oh, I don't want to... We'll give him a headshot or two. Now, let's go back over. Let's give him a headshot or two. Okay, we'll do that. Boom! Look at that! <laughs> oh! Oh, we got that. Uh, did we get him? No! His, his chemistry station is tougher than mine. It protects him. Oh, you guys. And I think Jenny sounds funny, doesn't she? But yeah, we get a lot of shooting out of this. It's really nice, I have to say. Where's our bad guys? Come on, there's got to be... Oh, somebody's hiding here. Is it, is it Myrna? It's over. No, it's Arturo. Oh, we, we kind of cut his leg off. Sorry, dude. That's life. Help, security. Anyway, so you get the idea. This is quite fun. Now, comparing this to the other one, which the other one is also a good weapon... Um, let's go down and find the sighted one. Just the regular. Okay. So this is still a good weapon. I don't want you to think it's not. Oh, there's the dot. See? It's still a good, strong weapon. It is. It does good damage. Um, we need to find more bad guys, but you get the idea. I mean, and it shoots as quick as you fire. Now, it gives you a little shudder as well. But not as much as the other one. The other one gives you more just vibration and shaking in your controller. And I don't know how else to say it other than that. <laughs> that may sound bad, but it's really not that bad. Oh, wait. Hey, Doc. How you doing? <laughs> ah. Nonetheless, you get the idea. 
overall, I would have to say this mod is a success and fun. Um, I did, you know, I did experience a little aggravation with the whole Nuka Cola Quantum thing, but there are plenty. There is plenty of that in the game, especially if you have the cheat room, which I can't imagine anyone would not have the cheat room. Why would you not have the cheat room? So anyway, then I'm just gonna stand here. Do you see how it does? It's very cool. Doesn't that have a good? That has a good effect. It does have some recoil and stuff, but very nice. And look, oh, I like that. Look, we just change our Nuka Cola Quantum out. Yep, there you go. I'm easily amused. Oh, she's back. Help someone. She's she's invulnerable. It's so funny. I wonder if the stupid guys are up here. Sometimes those abbots show up up here. No, not up here right now. Oh, hi. Sometimes if you just graze them, it's enough. You don't have to hit them that hard. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. So... <clears throat> Pardon me. So, um, we're going to call it good at this point. I don't see any reason to hang out. We've had a good time with this. Let me just show you... Um, I'm going to show you this version of the gun, which was pretty cool, pretty fun. Uh, but there's also the standard version, which, again, is also, I think, very nice. I think this is very nice. And you can always just paint this one up and not do all the mods if you don't want to do the mods. Or if you don't have the ability to do the mods. So this would be a fun gun to have. And this would go with the alien blaster. So you'd have a, the alien blaster and then you'd have a rifle. And it sounds fun to me. Okay. All right. So uh, you know what? I'll take just a minute and show you the mod again real fast. Affirmative. All right. So this has been the alien assault rifle. Now, I tried to show you as much as I could of the, uh, the mods. Now, I did go through some of them fairly quick. But um, you can always, you know, download this little mod and try it out for yourself. It's under 3 megabytes. It's a lot of fun. Don't forget how to get to the cave and the alien over there and all that business, okay? It took me a few minutes to find him. I knew he had to be in the general area. Um, and somehow I knew where the crash site was, and I don't remember how now. Maybe I found it before. But nonetheless, remember, Oberlin Station is your key, and then move east to find the cave and the crash site, okay? All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. I think overall it's a fun weapon. I think I'll hold on to it temporarily and maybe have Jenny use this for a little while. Um, it doesn't suit her outfit, but it kind of suits our style of fun sometimes, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. This has been an How That's March production.